First of all, before we get into the video, let us all take a moment of silence for a fellow Call of Duty athlete. This young man right here thought he could use Commando Pro in real life, and he learned the hard way that that just wasn't a good idea, man. My man just couldn't wait, alright? He tried to remaster MW2 early. He heard that they might be coming out with it next year. He's like, fuck that, I can't wait. Let me just try it out myself. You know, he rolled up to school with Commando Pro, and as you see, it just, it didn't work out very well for him. So let's just take a moment of silence for a fallen Call of Duty athlete. So anyways, um, we got some pretty cool news today, I would say. Well, at least Raven gave us some pretty cool news. Infinity Ward, on the other hand, they took another L. They, they just need to stop trying. They cannot do anything right. From what I'm seeing, like, they literally just fail at everything they do. So anyways, let's check out this tweet from our favorite developer on Twitter, Mr. Wobble. Winter comes crashing to MW Remastered on the 13th with Block, Countdown, Pipeline, Showdown, Strike, Wet Work, Hard Point, and Gun Game. So we got a few things announced here. He kind of hints to it in the tweet, but there is actual video footage that Christmas Crash is 100% confirmed. If you guys didn't know, there's a Christmas version of the map Crash in the original COD 4. I think it was PC only at the time, but now they're making it for console. It's cool or whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal to me, but it's cool. Why not? You know, it's, it's a nice little thing to add into the game. Number two, the remaining six maps will be coming on the 13th, which is next Tuesday, so less than a week away. They said that they would come before before the end of the year and I honestly didn't think they were gonna come till really late in December I was thinking like literally the last day of the year they're gonna drop the map so the fact that they're bringing them out already that's pretty cool that's sooner than I expected and finally the one that I'm most interested in hardpoint is coming to Modern Warfare Remastered now I mean I'm not gonna say I predicted this or anything but let's just say I may have made a video about this about two months ago just throwing it out there i don't know uh, also they added gun game as well which i mean i don't really care about that all you gun game enthusiasts out there i'm sure you'll be very happy to play that not really my thing but hardpoint is definitely something that i'm gonna be interested in it's definitely gonna bring up the debate again for whether people should play Modern Warfare Remastered this year as the competitive game. I mean, people were already debating that back in November. I mean, here we have a tweet from Lord Nadeshot himself saying back in early November that we should play Modern Warfare Remastered. So now that they're adding in Hardpoint, I mean, that makes it an even more solid argument. But the thing is, Activision calls the shots and that probably won't ever happen, even though it would be really cool. I think it would actually be beneficial to the Call of Duty competitive scene, but I don't think it would be beneficial for Activision's wallet, so I don't think it's going to happen. But it would still be cool to see. We could still hope. Maybe some other, like, side tournaments or something for Modern Warfare Remastered. That would be cool. Just something for some competitive Modern Warfare Remastered hardpoint. I think that would be really cool. At least we can try it out now and see if they did a good job or not. Maybe, you know, the professional players, they're stuck playing IW because, you know, that's where all the tournaments and stuff are, but everyone else else we could try it out we can have some fun on that so that should be cool i am a little bit concerned on how it's gonna be with frag times three and you know stun times three and all that because there's no tag mess there's no flak jacket in modern warfare remastered so how is that gonna work i don't know it might just be a complete stun and nade fest on the hill and just be terrible we'll have to see but i'm telling you right now 10 times out of 10 i would much prefer to get killed by frag times three than by some dude flying around with like some over overpowered specialist gun that he just fucking got for doing nothing so i'd rather get naded so that's completely fine with me i've accepted that already before we even play it but anyways basically raven 
has taken a W, all right? A major W, all right? I know I kind of dick ride them a little bit. Like, I'm actually not even a little bit. I'm all the way on that D. I understand that I'm riding that shit, but I'm riding it for a goddamn reason, dude. They really just do shit correctly, man. Like, it's crazy how much they actually listen to the community and, and do what we ask for. I, I've never seen something like that before, so I gotta just give them their props a little bit. Maybe I'm giving them too much props. I don't fucking know, but this is just, like, new territory for Call of Duty. Like, they don't ever listen to us like this, so I'm just like, hey, good shit. So, anyways, on to to Infinity Ward now, all right, because they obviously knew Raven was going to remaster Christmas Crash, so of course they had to do their own remaster for Infinite Warfare. Now I want you guys to prepare yourself, all right, get ready to be blown away by what an amazing job that they did, all right, so they decided to remake the map Genesis, which is the Strike Zone remake, if you weren't familiar with it. So this is what the map looks like originally, if you don't play too much Infinite Warfare, maybe you don't know. This is what the original map looks like. You can kind of see how it would be a remake of Strike Zone from Ghost. Now, this right here is the Christmas remake. So, as you can see, they just basically turned down the lighting and they added in a couple of Christmas lights to the buildings. Now, I showed you what Christmas Crash looked like earlier, right? They had a Christmas tree, they had snow, they had all sorts of shit, right? It was a very high effort, like, Christmas map. Now we see what Infinity Ward did, and they literally just added some fucking lights on the building. I mean, I don't even really give a fuck because I don't play Infinite Warfare, but does this not just show the level of laziness from Infinity Ward? I mean, they designed this on a computer. It wasn't that hard to do. People put more fucking effort into decorating their actual houses in real life. They're up there on the ladder and shit. It's cold as shit outside. And they do a better job of decorating their house for Christmas than you could do on a fucking video game that you designed on a computer? Are you kidding me, man? This ain't adding up. So that is just another failure from Infinity Ward. I mean, what's new? Did anyone expect any better? Now, hold on. Wait. I know before... Before somebody even says it. And hey, Birdman, you fucking retard! They created the original Winter Crash. I know, you are kind of right, because that was the original Infinity Ward, the ones that created COD 4 and MW2, but they got rid of all those guys, alright, because I guess they were doing too good of a job, you know, they were actually making good games, so they decided to get rid of those guys, downgrade, bring in the new Infinity Ward, and now we have Winter Genesis, where they basically put in less effort than my next door neighbor did on his fucking house, so that's pretty much it for the video, we'll keep it quick and simple, I am working on a really good feminist reaction video at the moment. I'm planning for it to go up on Saturday. I've already put in like over eight hours of work on it. It's almost done. I don't want to hype it up too much, but I do think it's going to be one of the best ones I've done in a while. So just be on the lookout for that on Saturday. And I think you guys will like it. So anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys all for watching. Let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments section down below. Be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Other than that, have a good day and peace out.